Welcome to our tutorial for setting up Facebook login. This will add a single sign-on button to your registration form, allowing users to register for your website through Facebook. These necessary steps will cover how to create a Facebook developer's account, how to create a Facebook app, how to add that app to your iHouse Elite website, and how to verify your app has the necessary permissions. Before we start, you will be required to have a Facebook account that is business verified to complete this process. So please ensure that your Facebook account is business verified before proceeding as it will make the process easier. We will include Facebook's page on how to make your Facebook account business verified in the description below. If all that's in order, we're good to go ahead and get started. Your first step will be to visit developers.facebook.com. This is linked in the description below as well. In the top right, you'll see the option for login, seen here. Go ahead and click login. You'll then be asked to log in with your Facebook account. Type in your Facebook login email and Facebook password and press login. This should return you to developers.facebook.com, but where you previously saw login, it will now show as my apps or get started in the top right. In either case, go ahead and click it as seen here. After this, you'll be prompted to register a Facebook developer account as this is required for app creation. Follow the prompts on screen to complete registration. You'll be asked to enter a contact email as well as some about you information. In the last step in about you, you want to choose the option for developer found here and then complete registration. From here, you'll see a green button for create app found in the middle as well as the top right of your screen here. Go ahead and click create app. As mentioned previously, you'll want to ensure that you have a Facebook account that is business verified, as this is required to complete the process by the end of the tutorial. The instructions on how to get your Facebook account business verified can be found in the description below. If you're all set, choose your business verified Facebook account and press next. Next, it will ask you to complete the section for use cases. While it may be appealing to choose the option for authenticate and request data from user Facebook login found at the top here, we'll actually want to pick the option for other seen here. The earlier mentioned option would be something you'd pick for a dedicated application on a phone. What we're doing is setting up a login that anyone can use that is on the web and using an internet browser. With that, go ahead and select the option other and press next found here. After selecting other, you'll be taken to the next part of create an app. You'll be asked to select a type, go ahead and choose consumer and then press next. Next, you'll be asked to complete the details section. You'll want to enter in a name for your app. To keep things simple, it's probably best to just put in the name of your website so you know this is the application for your website, your preferred contact email and your business portfolio. Again, you can choose no business portfolio here and proceed, but you will need to complete this by the end of the application. For it to work. And with that, select your business profile from here. After creating your app, you will be taken to the app dashboard. Here you'll see the name of your app, your app ID, and the status of your app. From here, choose the option under Facebook login and press setup. Next, choose the option for web as we're creating an app that someone could use in their internet browser on a website. Next, it'll ask you to tell them a bit about your website, type in the full URL of your website, making sure to include HTTPS as seen here, and press save. After pressing save and continue, it may take you to the second title, set up Facebook SDK for JavaScript. That isn't something needed by you just yet. Instead, look to the sidebar on the left. Find the option for app settings, and in that drop-down menu for app settings, choose basic and give basic a click, found here. From the basic menu, if you try and enable your app at the top by clicking this toggle, you'll get the following error message. You'll need to provide a privacy policy URL as well as a data deletion URL. This can be found under your existing registration, as seen here, as well as down in the footer of your website. Give it a click, and once you're on your privacy policy, copy that address from your address bar. Take this link and place it in the privacy policy URL field, as well as the user data deletion URL, and press save. Once all necessary fields are entered, you should be able to flip the application to live, seen here. Once the application is live, you can now reveal your app secret found here. 
We'll come back for our app ID and app secret in a bit. Next, we'll need to adjust some of the settings under Facebook login. On the left hand side in that sidebar, go ahead and click on Facebook login. Under Facebook login, you'll find settings found here. Once you're under Facebook login settings, scroll down and find the option Login with JavaScript SDK and flip this to Yes. And then enter the full URL, including the HTTPS as seen, under Allowed Domains for the JavaScript SDK. Once you've entered the full URL, go ahead and press Save. We're all done under Facebook login. The next part we'll need to look at is App Review. On the left hand side, go ahead and click on App Review. Under App Review, you'll find Permissions and Features found here. Click Permissions and Features. Here there will be a long list of permissions. We're going to want to find the ones for public profile and email, seen here. Email you can see near the top of your permissions, but public profile you may need to scroll down a little bit. Starting with email, choose Request Advanced Access here on the right. If prompted, select your Business Verified Profile and press Select Account. If you've already done so, you'll probably just see the next step for Usage Check. Under Usage Check, confirm the permission and continue. After this, you may see a Data Handling Questionnaire complete as needed. Repeat these steps for the next permission, Public underscore Profile. Making sure to select your Business Profile, complete the Usage Check, and Data Handling Questionnaire if needed. Once you're all set, and you've set these two adjusted permissions at the top of your screen, you'll see them as having advanced access in green. With that, we're all done making changes in the Facebook developer account. Now we just need to return and get our app ID and app secret, adding it to our iHouse Web Elite website. To do so, click on app settings and then basic. Take your app ID seen here and your app secret found here and go to your iHouse Web admin menu. In your admin menu, locate integrations, and then social login and check on include Facebook single sign on. Enter your app ID and your app secret here and press save settings. You'll see a notice at the top confirming you've saved your changes. We'll want to verify that the app is working as desired. Go to your website in a new private window or simply log out and press the button for sign up in the top right to bring up your registration form. Click the button for continue with Facebook if you give that a click, you should see the option to either continue with your existing Facebook account or to sign in with Facebook. If that's what you see, you know it's working. You're all set. If you don't see that and you actually get an error message, we can do some troubleshooting. If you see this error, we need to adjust our settings in our Facebook developer app. Specifically, you need to adjust the Facebook login settings part for login with JavaScript SDK. If you see this error, we need to increase the permissions for our app. Specifically, under App Review, Permissions and Features, ensure that both email and public profile are granted advanced access. Outside of that, you should be all set. And that concludes our tutorial on setting up Facebook login using single sign-on. If you'd like to learn more, please feel free to check out our other videos on our channel. Subscribing to our channel will get you updates and tutorials about our newest features and improvements as they're released. Most importantly, if you still need help or just have questions, please let us know. We'd be more than happy to help you. Give our Elite Service Team a call at 866-645-7700. We're open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time.